Analysis has several tools to help you analyze and improve your quality score. So from your quality score screen, you'll see how your overall quality score is doing for the account, as well as the breakdown of the sub-factors. Now you can graph your quality scores over time by the keyword, ad group, campaign, or even account. And then we'll see our keyword count versus performance metrics. Then we can graph these to analyze how our keywords are doing by quality score level by metric. Now in addition, we can see our quality score sub-factor analysis. This is nice to look at impression weighted so you can understand where the majority of your improvement needs to be to increase your quality scores. Then we can see this data also by ad group. And finally, to understand where to start, if you click the Analyze Ad Groups, we'll take you to the Ad Group screen where it's useful to expand your quality score data. Then we put everything in a quality score priority order that looks at your cost and your impression weighted quality score, and then shows you a nice order to begin with in working on your quality scores. So you'll see your impression weighted ad group quality score, the weekly change, we could again graph out our quality score history, and then we'll see impression weighted sub factors for that particular ad group. Now when we drill into an ad group, we can go to our keywords, and we'll again see our quality score, our change, we can graph our histories, and the sub factors for each of your keywords. Now in many cases, you'll also have alerts of things that need to be done. So for instance, if you have a keyword where one keyword is a below average ad relevance and another keyword is above average ad relevance with the minimum number of impressions, right, will alert you because Google believes this is not a good keyword for the ad, but this one is. So then you can use additional tools. We can easily move this keyword to a different ad group or create an ad group and then we'd copy ads, let you adjust those and so forth before creating them. And then we can go to our landing pages. And here you'll see your landing page, how many ad groups are using it, and then how many keywords have above average, average, and below average landing page experience for that URL. So this is a good way to look to see we've got a lot of keywords that are below average. Let's look at the theme difference of the below average versus the above average keywords to decide how we want to either move those keywords to a new page or do further analysis on this information. So many of these alerts are built right into your dashboard, such as low ad relevance that you can use your normal workflow and still improve quality scores. Now for more information on how every one of these individual features work, please see the more detailed videos.